Hi there, Release Fire here, so I'm going to talk you through how to beat the mysterious enemy in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's a tough boss fight, and if you're not at the right level, you're just going to end up getting beat over and over again. So my biggest tip is to level up to level 12 in the very least. The quickest way to do this is to make your way back to the camp where you can use bonus EXP to help you to level up. So you combine that with fighting enemies in and around there and you should be able to do it relatively quickly. My other tip is that in terms of accessories, you want to change Noah to take on Light Weak Guard and you need to have Bronze Temple Guard and finally, Lance to have the other Bronze Temple Guard that you should have by this stage. You should also change out Crash Out in terms of Lars's art and change it for variable turrets. And all of this is designed to allow your characters to last long enough to be able to beat the mysterious enemy. And most of the fight, you're going to want to be behind the mysterious enemy. However, you're going to try to do the break topple trick and then do damage from behind. So you need to hit it with sword strike from the side to be able to start the break and then everybody else will chime in with the rest of their combos and then you'll be able to do damage from behind. Now if you've seen any of my other previous Xenoblade Chronicles 3 boss fight videos you know that the idea is that you're trying to build up an overclock buster so you do that by standing behind the enemy and using edge thrust and then once you've built it up ideally you want the sword strike from the side to get the break topple and daze combination which will allow you to do the most damage it doesn't always work out like that so if you don't don't worry about it too much but that's what you're aiming to do to give yourself the best chance of beating the mysterious enemy however definitely cycle through all your other arts as you go and when you do get a topple take advantage of it to be able to do as much damage as you can because it's not just about damage it's about saving lands from as much damage as possible so a good way to do that is make sure that you're always in doing automatic moves because I don't know if you could see but sometimes they interrupt its attacks on lands so that if you can get close enough to be able to do a good number of those then you will stop it from doing some of the damage on lands which is one of the main reasons reasons you'll end up dying against the mysterious enemy and if you've been watching the screen like a hawk then you should have just seen me do the overclock buster while it was down which gave me 3000 damage compared to around about 1500 if you land it without it being toppled properly so it's definitely worthwhile doing that because you'll just get closer to the end if you can land those topples with an overclock buster just at the right time by this stage you should be pretty close to being able to beat the mysterious enemy but you can also see that Lance and Noah's health is very low. In fact, Lance is going to go for me any minute soon. So it's all about doing as much damage as I can to be able to get over the line. So you can see Lance is down now and I think Uni is going to try and rescue him while I take a little bit of the damage. But I want to reduce the amount of damage that I take during this phase. Although I did get knocked out in the end and needed to be saved by Uni. And then just get back in the action. Try to avoid getting hit. Get behind it. Land your last few hits. And that should see you through to beating the mysterious enemy in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. However, it goes into this next phase of fighting where the mysterious enemy reveals his name to be Mobius and you need to take him on as an Ouroboros which means that you're combined up with Noah and Mio and the two of you will fight it out in this new kind of form. But it's relatively easy to do. You just need to cycle through your arts to do as much damage. Try to keep an eye on which ones do the most damage. Unison Strike from behind seem to do quite a lot for me and that will help you to build up the Mega Spinning Edge which does a huge chunk as well. And that should see you through to beating the mysterious enemy in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the link on the left-hand side and see more of my guide videos for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.